things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 34. This 3-in-1 text effect has a gradient, a shadow, and a reflection, and it's all done in Canva. Start with a blank design, add a square to the page, and go up to the color swatch. Scroll down to gradients, select from any one of Canva's gradients, or create your own. Now take that gradient and make it the size of your entire page. If you want to adjust the colors, go back over to the color swatch, click on the gradient radio buttons, and you can change the direction of the gradient as well as the order of where those colors appear. Next, go to the app section and look for design to image. So click on convert image and then click export. Add a new blank page and then click add to current page. Go back to the app section and this time look for font frame. Add your text and choose a font. Next, we need to increase the space between each of the letters. Click on the spacing option and bring this letter spacing to about 250. With your new gradient image selected, go over to select image. Then just click add to design. Take this new image and make it the size of your whole page. Then go up to edit and click shadows. Select drop shadow, set the angle to 25 and the distance to 25. Next, you want to duplicate the image and place it directly on top. Grab the side handles and we're going to start to crop out each of the letters. You're going to repeat this for each letter. So duplicate again, place it directly on top, and then crop out the next letter. Go back to that very first layer and crop that first letter. Take those letters and start stacking them one on top of the other so that they overlap just a little bit. Select all of your layers and group them together and make it the size of your whole page. Change the background color to black. Place the image so it's above the midpoint of your design and then go back over to design to image and convert it to an image. Add this new image to your page and make it the size of the whole page. Go up to flip and change flip to vertical. Then drag the top handle and crop the bottom portion of that image away so that you can now see the top part and the bottom. Add another square to your page, go up to the color options, and we're going to make this a black gradient. So click on a new color, choose gradient, and change the color to black. For this second color, change the transparency all the way to zero. Then just rotate that image and make it the width of your whole page. Now duplicate it and place it directly on top. If you try this effect, go ahead and tag me because I'd love to see your version. 